Hi everybody, now that the faces of Flo are fixed on console, I figured I would make a comprehensive fish tutorial as I found most of the other fishing tutorials to be a little bit lagging. So I'm going to make it nice, concise, and easy. Start off with a really simple brief tutorial. You come to this guy in the hub if you need lures or a rod. You can see the price. Once you buy it, it'll appear in your slot in the bottom. And when you toggle that button, it'll unlock it, and you'll need to go into your character inventory to equip it. This table here, really important. You can make all kinds of cool stuff, but specifically the different types of fishing rods you'll need to fish different types of liquids. Alright, moving on to the actual ancient fish tutorial. The ancient sea fish can be a little bit tricky because it won't spawn anywhere else that another ancient fish spawns, so the easiest way to mitigate that is you just come to some mid-level water inside of a club that you can fish, gotta be like a treasure isle, and you're good. Alright, the gloam fish needs to be caught in curse veil water, which the wiki says can only be in a dungeon, so if you plop down your source tile and you catch anything else, let me know but I'm pretty sure this will work. It works for the phoenix fish. Here we are inside of a shadow tower, believe it or not, because only inside of a shadow tower fishing shadow tower water can you catch the weird fish. Yeah. So bring a lot of lures because you probably don't want to have to come back. Am I right? The Dry Bones is another one that says is specific to like dungeon water in the area you're supposed to catch the fish, which is to say the desert. I happen to have that dungeon right the hell in front of me when I was trying to film this, so I figured why not, I'll show you what it looks like. But I think a source tile or a face of flow on your cornerstone will be more than sufficient. Okay, so we're moving on from the water ancient fish, even though there's a few left. The reason being I've left those at the end of the video because there's some cool stuff you can do to maximize your fishing output. This one's really easy. Come to the lava in the hub. Fish till you catch the trout hub hugger. After that, shag your ass down to the permafrost to catch a frigid firefish. Except you gotta find a dungeon that's got lava in it like this one, otherwise you're screwed. Look at him, he's so majestic. After that, Move yourself down to the Treasure Isles biome to catch a tropical volcano fish. I'm a big fan of the dungeon with the lighthouse because you get to fish outside in your lava. Once you're done getting some sun in the Treasure Isles, take yourself back to the club to catch the Ancient Lava Rider. The Ancient Lava Rider is very similar to the Ancient Fish in that it will only spawn where other Ancient Lava Fish do not spawn. So the club's your best bet because then you don't have to deal with all those annoying explosions going off all the fucking time. God damn it, I really wish they would get rid of that shit. After that, we are staring the club to move over some chocolate that I placed via Faces of Flow. The only ancient chocolate fish you can catch in here is the popular octopus, no matter what depth or height you're at. Moving on from there, we move ourselves to my cornerstone to catch the pressurized gobfish. You'll notice when I type in slash location, it shows me that I'm below 20 blocks in the middle. See, I'm at 14 blocks. I'm going to catch that pressurized gobfish over here. After that, we go back to the hub to catch the ancient Chaco Lurker. Basically, just fish mid-level chocolate until you catch it. Oh man, all the people I've heard complaining about their inability to catch a various fish is oh, it's the funniest shit ever. Fu fucking hub hugger, I've been sitting here, I've used a thousand lures. Anyway, after that, use your cornerstone to get 200 blocks high. 
Otherwise, you'll never catch the cotton candy fish because they don't, they, they just dissipate at low levels, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Once you're done enjoying the smell of clouds, make your way down to a real Candoria biome instead of the piddly pussy shit we've been working with so far and fish yourself some real full-fledged, full-bodied chocolate if you want to get yourself that chocodile. Make sure that it's not too high or too low, otherwise you're going to start catching the other stuff I was talking about. Them gobfishes and cotton can fishes. Alright, now we're going to do some tricky stuff. The stuff I said I would save until the end. This one's not as tricky, just type slash tutorial. Come over to this little puddle over here. And my friends, you can from here fish the wide eyed noob fishlet. He's a beautiful little cutie. And before you leave this tutorial world, don't forget to hopscotch over to the magma that's behind me so that you can pick yourself up. A chad noob fish. At least I think that's the name. I can't remember because I'm recording the audio as I'm literally watching this guy flop in my cell phone over to the, you know, the lava bits. What's it called? What's it called? Flame roasted noob fish. You gotta flame roast your noob fishes so that they stop being noob fishes. Pro tip. Alright, this is the cool part I was talking about. Alright, so the Radiant Dawn fish can only be caught during the day. And the Radiant Dusk fish can only be caught. Oh, that's right, you guessed it. At night. The problem with nighttime up in this sky realm is that it's like half a tick long. <laughs> this is really good to shoot for this fish when you got double fishing because that makes the most use of the really, really, really short night times that will, oh, I got lucky. I caught the, the, the moon fish first. You know how many people I know have like a bajillion dawn fish trophies because they just have crap luck? Anyway. To maximize your time, once you catch either the dawn fish or the moon fish, you're gonna plop yourself onto this lava over here. That way you don't have to worry about catching the same fish twice. So this lava's a little bit tricky. You can't just fish the flame fin fish right from these like waterfall bits. So you kinda gotta jump up above them and bomb out <laughs> the roof to expose the source tile. It's kind of a kind of a trip. I was kind of expecting the the fix to let me fish from the waterfalls, but hey, whatever. At least I know how to do it, right? <laughs> so the reason this is really nice is because there's water everywhere. So once you post up next to the lava, you just fish the lava during whatever time of day is uh, associated with the fish you already have. Dig it? And now I'll show you how to catch fish in plasma. It's really, really easy. You wait for the patch. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to leave a like and point your friends in the direction of this if they're also interested in fishes.